Hi book lovers, it's Lacey. Welcome back to my channel. So I am starting off 2020, um, the first video, with a book haul. These are all the books that I got in December. I'm just gonna start off with the arcs that I got. I am so, so excited for these. Um, first up, I got Undercover Bromance by Alyssa K. Adams. This is sent by Berkeley, and this is the standalone sequel to The Bromance Book Club. I liked that book, um, but I didn't love it. But I am excited about this one because I love the hero in the first book, Mac. He was hilarious in The Bromance Book Club, such a charmer, and he falls for Liv, who is the sister of the heroine in the first book. If you read The Bromance Book Club, you could kind of tell like their first meeting or something like that. Definitely had some chemistry going on so I'm really happy that they're getting their book. Liv is a professional chef, Mac is a pro baseball player, and of course part of the Bromance book club with his other teammates. Um, this time instead of reading a historical romance like they did in the first book they'll be reading a romantic suspense like FBI kind of romance to match with this kind of undercover operation that Mac um, is partnering up with Liv to do to take down her like sexist boss. So yeah, really excited about this one. I know a lot of other people are too. I haven't read it just yet, but once I do, keep y'all updated. And then another Berkeley arc that I got is A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. This one is a fantasy romance that I am dying to read. I probably will once I finish up all these historical romances I want to read but this one sounds so freaking amazing barbarians um dragons apparently the series name is a gathering of dragons it is enemies to lovers like the hero hates the heroine because she was the one who supposedly killed his parents or got his parents killed but she ends up proposing a marriage of convenience so really excited about those tropes. I just want a fantasy romance and like a fantasy world that will blow me away. I have really high hopes for this one. Um, I have read this author before, Mila Vane. Like her debut um, was in this fantasy anthology with a couple of other fantasy authors that I love, like Nalini Singh, I think. And it was also a barbarian romance novella. It's probably set in the same world and probably where she got the inspiration for this new series, um, but she also published um, under another pseudonym, under Mel Jean Brooke. I loved um, one of the books that I read under Mel Jean Brooke, um, The Iron Duke, which is also a fantasy romance. It's steampunk romance, so I read that when I was into my steampunk phase. I read a couple books in that series, but The Iron Duke was my favorite. It was so good. I love that one, so I'm hoping I'll love this one just as much. I also got this super adorable puppy romance. Well, puppy related romance. I mean, look at this face on the cover. So adorable. Who Rescued Who by Victoria Shod. She actually published another dog related book with Gallery, um, but now I guess she's with Berkeley. The heroine, after getting fired, she flies home to her dad's home in England, um, not really expecting to stay there, but she ends up kind of adopting this lost puppy. It's probably more along the lines of women's fiction than actually romance. The publisher also sent um, with this book some British treats, candy, chocolate. I have not eaten them yet. I was planning on taking some pictures uh, for Instagram before I ate them um, and I'm impressed by my self-control. And then I got these two amazing Avon arcs. First up is Alicia Rye, Girl Gone Viral. This is the standalone sequel to the the right swipe which I adored. This is Katrina's story. She was the best friend from the first book and she has a bodyguard romance. It's friends to lovers as well. Katrina kind of goes viral after someone live tweeted her conversation on a date. People are trying to like find out her identity and track down who she is. Now she needs Jazz to be her bodyguard. I am really excited about this one. I love the cover. I like this retweet button for the O and Gone 
um, like an Instagram picture. Ellie Shirai always writes these awesome strong heroines and even though Katrina is probably more on the shy side than her other heroines, I still can't wait to read it. The other Avon book is The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. It is an enemies to lovers romance because the heroine was engaged to the hero's brother and the hero was actually the one who told his brother to jilt the heroine. So obviously these two do not have the best of feelings for each other but they kind of had to work together for the heroine's um, newest like client for her wedding um, planning company. I love the premise of this one. I think Lisa, remarkably Lisa, already read this one and really liked it so now I'm even more hyped for it. Next I got this second chance romance from Harlequin called Then Now Always by Mona Shroff. The main characters were together before the heroine Maya leaves the hero um, and does not tell him that she got pregnant and had his baby, which is, you know, a pretty huge thing to keep secret. And I think the daughter is already a teenager now. I also got this thriller, The Tenant by Katrine Engberg. I honestly don't know too much about it. It is a thriller set in Denmark. Um, the author is from Denmark and there seems to be a lot of hype about this author. I don't know, I don't really read thrillers, but the publisher also sent along this freaking adorable mug. It's got like a little drawing of Denmark. It is so freaking adorable. I love it. And then last of my arcs. Um, is this Katie McGeary arc, Echoes Between Us. I'm actually really happy to get this one because I adore Katie McGeary. She's one of my favorite young adult authors. Um, I haven't read her in a little while though. Um, last one I read was book two in her Motorcycle Club series. So it's been a while, um, but this one is a standalone. The heroine has a brain tumor. The hero is like a golden boy of their town, so it's probably gonna be pretty angsty. Very emotional, like Katie McGarry is very good at writing. Oops, I forgot. I also have another young adult arc. This one is Together We Caught Fire by Eva V. Gibson. It's got a very interesting cover, almost movie-like to me. Um, but this is very high school-y, teenage -y. Her dad is marrying her crush's mom, so now they're all living together. But he has a girlfriend, and now the heroine has befriended the crush's older brother. I also got some gifts from some friends for Christmas. Just a couple of them. First is, oh my gosh, Kill Switch by Penelope Douglas. This is Damon's book. I loved it. This is the only book of Penelope Douglas's that I'm missing, except for that new novella one, Conclave. I'll get that one soon, um, but this one is the last of her full-length books that I needed to complete her collection. So, so happy to have this in paperback. So pretty. I love Damon and Winter. Theirs is a very um, unconventional kind of romance, but it's perfect for them. It is a dark romance, probably the darkest out of all three so far, um, just because Damon is very messed up. I also got Iron and Magic by Alona Andrews, one of my faves. Um, this one is a start to a new series. It is a spinoff of the Kate Daniel series, but I think it probably would be okay if you started with this one on its own, just because most of the cast is completely new except for the hero Hugh, who actually was a villain for most of the Kate Daniel series. He goes into this marriage of convenience with this heroine named the White Lady. It is a fantasy romance, um, pretty slow burn, not much happens until towards the end, and there is still more to come. I don't know exactly how many books, maybe it's gonna be a trilogy, um, but there is no set release date yet for the rest of the series, which is so sad. I love a good villain turned hero, and Hugh is one of my favorites. I was always intrigued by his character anyway when he was first introduced in the Kate Daniel series, so really happy that we get his book, but 
I really need the rest of the series. And then I got some actual Christmas romances um, for Christmas presents. This one is Kisses in the Snow by Debbie Maycomer. This is actually two novellas in one. The first one is a second chance romance. The other one is like a stranded in the snow kind of romance. And then I got Coming Home for Christmas by Rayanne Thane. This one sounds interesting on um, the heroine. She is a wife and mother, but leaves them after she gets in this accident and loses all her memories. But now she's back and they want her back. So it sounds very heartwarming, very emotional, kind of Christmas romance. And then Jessica, Peace Love Books, sent me Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. This is actually perfect timing because it literally arrived an hour or two before I had to drive um, to Hollywood to go see Kennedy Ryan for her little meetup in LA. So thank you Jessica and thank you Amazon for coming right in time. This is the first book in the Hoop series. Um, very emotional and intense from what I hear. I actually started it um, when it came out but it got a little too much for me so I put it down and just haven't gotten back to it yet. It is a sports romance. Um, the hero is an NBA player so I'm hoping to read this one sometime this year. I just really want to read a lot more of Kennedy Ryan's books. Like I read her years ago, her debut actually, like her debut trilogy but I haven't read her again until last year with her All the King's Men duet which was amazing. So now I want to read this hoop series as well as her grip series and of course I got myself hookshot um, book three in the series because I already own book two but I got this at the ripped bodice right before I went to go to the Kennedy Ryan meetup. This one is a single dad romance and also these cover models are freaking gorgeous and I also loved meeting Kennedy Ryan. She said queen in this one. She's so amazing, so smart, so sweet. I love her. Really hoping she comes back to SoCal someday and do like an official ripped bodice signing. I also bought some books off of a friend who I think she was just unhauling so she was selling stuff on Instagram and I got these three books for only 20 bucks. So yes, I finally got myself Wool Song by TJ Klune, one of my favorite books in the whole wide world. It is an MM paranormal romance, wolf shifter hero with a human. It is so freaking beautiful. I love TJ Klune's writing so, so much. I remember being blown away when I read it for the first time. Um, and then I reread it or re-listened to it, I guess, um, with the audiobook last month or two months ago. And it blew me away just as much as it did the first time. The narrator did a really great job with Ox's voice. Ox is the human and he befriends this wolf shifter family, the Bennett. Joe is the other hero, the youngest of the Bennets, and he's actually still just a kid when they first meet. Both of them are really young, so it's not weird or anything. But Joe does know that Ox is his soulmate so you get to see them both grow up and finally Joe getting Ox to fall in love with him. And then I got the sequel Raven Song. This is the second book in the Green Creek series. It's another MM romance with Gordo and another Bennett brother. It's another Faded Mates kind of romance. I will probably hopefully read this sometime this year as well as the rest of the Green Creek series. The fourth book, the final book, is coming this year which is a little sad because this is the kind of like series, a kind of world that you pretty much never want to leave. And then I got myself Rock Hard by Nalini Singh. This is book two in her Rock Kiss series which is her contemporary romance series and her rock star series. Although this one is not really a rock star romance. The other three are. The other three are about the rock star band members but this one is not. It's just a fantastic contemporary romance. Very much opposites attract because Charlotte is very mousy and shy and small whereas Gabriel is this big hulk of a man, knows what he wants and goes after it, and he wants Charlotte. It's also an office romance because Gabriel is the CEO of the company that Charlotte works at. I just adore this one. I really enjoy the whole series. Um, book four is my favorite though. It's super angsty. It's a second chance romance, but this one is my second favorite just because I love the opposites attract in this one. Charlotte is so painfully shy and Gabriel is just so patient and wonderful with
with her. I love them together. They're adorable. This one you probably could read as a standalone too. I won a couple books from authors as well last month. Did not expect to win this much. I usually don't. <laughs> but I got this one in the Unlikely Events by LJ Shen. This was like a mystery paperback kind of thing. And it turned out to be this one. I mean, I love the cover, so I don't really mind it despite not loving this book. I do want to collect all of her books someday. And she has the best covers, so still thankful that I won this one. If you want to know what I thought about it, I'll leave a link to the wrap up where I talk about it. And then I won these two books from A.L. Jackson, Come to Me Quietly and Come to Me Softly. This is part of the same series. I think there might be one more book too. These two follow the same couple. It sounds like it's a second chance romance, um, new adult romance, a bad boy kind of hero. I haven't read these, but I'm excited about it. And then I won Ruin by Lauren Lynn Page. This is book two in the Slay series. It also follows one couple and I have not read the first one yet. I do own it though and I've been wanting to read them. I love Lauren Lynn Page's books. Um, the ones that I have read. She writes some really hot um, erotic romances. I loved her Dirty Filthy Rich Men duet. That book, that series was so good. So I definitely want to read this series. There's gonna be four books. And then Colleen Hoover had her whole like coho book stack um, giveaway thing on Instagram that was going on for a long time. Um, and I won, I won one of them and I didn't even know until Jessica had to tell me. She also won, by the way. I think we got the same book too. Maybe now this one is the follow-up to maybe someday and maybe not. I loved Maybe Someday, so of course I had to choose this one. And now we're finally moving on to the last section, all the finished copies that I got from publishers. First up is Gabriel's Promise by Sylvain Raynard. This is the fourth book in the Gabriel's Inferno series. Still haven't gotten to this one yet. I do enjoy the series. I've read all three, so I'm hoping to get to this one soon. We're back with Gabriel and Julia in this one and their little girl. I think the movie for the first book should be coming out fairly soon. It seems like that's what Passion Flix has been teasing. So maybe... No, I wanted to wait until The Will also came out before I subscribed. And then Karina Halley sent me The Forbidden Man. I have the original cover with the original title, The Younger Man, but she changed it because um, I think another book with the same title was coming out around the same time, so she just decided to change it. It is a forbidden sports romance. The heroine, Talia, is the new um, physical therapist for the heroes. Um, soccer team. Any kind of fraternization is not allowed. I love this book so much. It's one of my favorites from last year. Um, and it's also the book club pick for Ravished by Romance for January for this month. So if you want to join us, please do. I'll leave a link in the description um, to our Instagram where all the details about the live chat, like when it's happening in the description below. I got Audition by Sky Warren and Amelia Wilde. This is the first in a duet. I think Sky Warren kind of always writes duets. Um, so this one is a ballerina heroine kind of romance. It sounds a little bit dark, a lot sexy. The books that I've read from Sky Warren have been very, very hot, so I expect the same from this one. The book also came with this really adorable tote. It says, if I am the question, books are the answer, which is very accurate. I got My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed. Um, this one is a first book in the Sinful Wallflower series, historical romance series, and I really enjoyed this one. This was my first book from this author. I've been wanting to read her. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast um, with a little twist, but I really enjoyed the way the author wrote this one. It's very much a slow burn romance. The heroine is in a group of friends with other wallflowers. They all decide to take charge of their lives and not be wallflowers anymore. Catherine pretends to be the fiance of the Duke hero without him knowing just so she can get some influence and help her sisters come out in society. Of course when Alexander finds 
finds out he's not really happy. I just really adore this one. I like the writing. It is a little slow at times, um, but I didn't really mind it. Next is Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winters. I think this one is a debut. Um, I think Lisa also really liked this one, so crossing my fingers, I do too. It sounds amazing. The heroine is a screenplay writer and she has to play out these meet cutes in like classic rom-coms with a hero. Another adorable cover, this finished copy of Marriage on Madison Avenue by Lauren Lane. I enjoy this one so, so much. This one is friends to lovers and a fake engagement kind of romance. Actually, literally just before I started filming, got these three books in the mail. I got the whole series from the publisher so I can give it away on my Instagram sometime next week, which means I'll also be posting a fake relationship um, Rex video sometime next week. So keep an eye out for those two things and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Next I got Wicked Hour by Chloe Neal. I am so excited about this one because I love the first book. This is the Heirs of Chicagoland series, which is a spinoff of um, Chloe Neal's Chicagoland Vampire series. So I'm really happy we got a spinoff of a series. This one, the heroine is the daughter of the main characters from Chicagoland Vampires and the hero is the son of the alpha of the werewolves who we also got to meet in the original series. In this world, vampires and werewolves are not quite enemies. I mean, they are, but they kind of had to make a truce to work together to beat the bad guy. I love the first book. It was called Wild Hunger. And if you want to read like a really great intro to a new urban fantasy series, definitely check that one out. And then I got Almost Just Friends by Jill Shalvis. This one is woman's fiction, a standalone. She always releases every year like women's fiction and romance books. This one sounds very family oriented. The heroine had to take care of her siblings growing up and now they need her again as adults. Another women's fiction book that I got is Where Have All the Boys Gone by Jenny Colgan. This one, the heroine can't find any love in the city in London, so she decides to find love in Scotland, in the Highlands, which I mean, I would totally do the same. I freaking loved the Highlands when I went for the first time um, last year. Next, I got Huckleberry Lake by Katherine Anderson. I have not read this author before, um, but it sounds really great. It's a small town romance and the heroine falls for the hero who is a deaf cowboy. Um, who is not looking for love. Last of the romances is Lean On Me by Pat Simmons. This one, the publisher actually sent this box of lights, probably to match with these lights on the cover. It sounds really sweet. The heroine takes care of her great aunt who has dementia and then leans on the hero who is her neighbor to take care of her aunt. I'll also be doing a giveaway for this one thanks to the publisher um, partnering up with them. And then I got these books from Random House. I am especially excited about Becoming by Michelle Obama. I've been wanting to read this one for the longest time and I'm so happy that they sent this to me. And then I also got like this matching journal too. I mean, I don't journal, but if anyone's gonna get me to journal or be inspired to journal, it would be Michelle Obama. And then this one is Sabrina and Karina by Kelly Fajardo Anstein. This one is a collection of stories actually based off of Latina and indigenous characters. This one is Mr. Nobody by Katherine Stedman. It's a psychological thriller. It's the same author of Something in the Water and honestly, I kind of got this one because I love the cover. It's about a psychiatrist who's treating a man who has no memory um, but finds out that he kind of knows more about her life than his. And then last in the Random House stack and this book haul, Martha Stewart's Cookie Perfection, which I used to make my pumpkin snickerdoodles and my chocolate chip cookie brownies. They were so freaking good. I made them in my readathon vlog. And that is it for my book haul for December. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you're looking forward to any of these. I am so excited for all of the arts that I got. Don't know when I'll get to them though, but hopefully soon. I'll leave a link to all the books that I mentioned in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.